Congratulations on choosing the Deco Replacement Tensioner 89252, which features Deco's patented flat spring technology for a more consistent range of torque. This tensioner has been designed and manufactured by Deco to meet and in many cases exceed the performance requirements of the OEM tensioners on the applications shown. Here are a few installation tips for this tensioner. Our featured vehicle is a 2003 Ford Explorer with a 4 liter V6 engine. The first step is to remove the radiator cover. It pulls off without removing any hardware. Next, loosen the bolts on both sides of the upper radiator shroud and lift the shroud up and off of the vehicle. Remove the belt by using a 3 8 inch breaker bar, ratchet, or serpentine belt installation tool. Insert the drive lug into the square hole in the tensioner arm and rotate the tensioner arm to release tension. Remove the belt from the tensioner pulley. Next, remove the mounting bolt. Here, we are using a 13 millimeter box end wrench to start the process, then switching to a much faster geared box end wrench to finish the job. Ford uses a very long bolt on this application. When the bolt is free, remove the tensioner. Here is the Deco replacement tensioner on the left, featuring patented flat spring technology and the old OEM round spring tensioner on the right with approximately 70,000 miles on it. Let's examine the OEM tensioner's condition. First of all, it has a loose dust cover that indicates wear. Since the dust cover is held on by the mounting bolt bushing, this condition can lead to misalignment problems. If we spin the pulley, it turns freely, indicating that the grease is gone from the bearing. There's also some free rock in the pulley, which is the sign of a worn bearing. The two tensioners use different damping methods. The OEM tensioner utilizes an internal spring damper. The Deco flat spring tensioner features a patented deflected arm plate damper that applies an even pressure on a damping pad located beneath it. The shielding mechanism also differs. The OEM tensioner has a relatively large gap between the pulley and the cast aluminum arm. The Deco tensioner has a minimal clearance, providing much better resistance to dust, road salts, and other debris that could shorten the pulley bearing life. Since the serpentine belt is disengaged from the tensioner, it's a good time to inspect the idler pulley for wear. Some free rock in the pulley is good, but not an excessive amount, which would indicate replacement. When the pulley spins, there should be a slight drag which shows that grease is still present and the seals are intact. This pulley has passed both inspections. This is also an opportunity to inspect the serpentine belt. Here are some things to look for. Chunking out or excessive cracking of the ribs. Stones, sand, dirt, or other debris that has become embedded in the rib roots. Any evidence of pilling of rubber in the rib roots. And finally, cord that is popping out or fraying. Depending on the degree, any of these conditions can be cause for replacement. This belt looks relatively new and is in good shape. To begin the replacement tensioner installation process, clean the mounting surface with a lightly abrasive pad to ensure that no debris is lodged between the surface and the tensioner, which could cause alignment problems and allow the mounting bolt to loosen over time. Insert the old OEM bolt into the new replacement tensioner. Note the locator pin hole on the bracket. Insert the bolt into the bracket and position the tensioner on the mounting surface. Manually start turning the bolt into the bracket until it supports the tensioner. Rotate the tensioner against the mounting surface until the locator pin clicks as it falls into its mating hole. Now tighten the bolt the rest of the way until it's snug. Using a torque wrench, tighten the bolt to 35 foot-pounds. Now it's time to reinstall the belt. Using the same breaker bar, ratchet, or serpentine belt installation tool as before, insert it into the square hole in the tensioner arm. Apply torque to the tool and rotate the tensioner arm so the belt can be slipped over the tensioner pulley, then carefully realigned in all the accessory drive pulleys in the routing. Slip the belt over the idler pulley last. 
release the torque and remove the tool. Next, have an assistant bump the engine a few times while you visually inspect the serpentine belt for proper seating in all the accessories. If satisfactory, run the engine for a few minutes to seat the belt. Reinstall the shrouds and the tensioner replacement is complete. Deco is a leading worldwide manufacturer of automotive and heavy-duty replacement tensioners featuring its patented flat spring technology. Deco designs its own tensioners with a number of superior features that far surpass the competitions. Buying Deco means you're buying the best.